How's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to tell you 10 things you need to know about shipbuilding in Starfield. So starting off at number one, quests. Now there's a quest early in the game called All That Money Can Buy that you get from Walter Stroud. You can find him in the lodge, he's always camping up here. Alright bloke, got any ship parts? Anyway, as you progress through the early game you'll get a prompt to talk to Walter and it is this quest line, All That Money Can Buy. It's a pretty easy quest, it's a lot of back and forth travel, but it's, it's no drama. And it takes you to a place called Neon, which is like a massive cyberpunk city in the Volai um, star system. Really cool place to be fair, but you've got to do this quest line, then you'll get access to Stroud Eklund, which is a ship shop where you can buy more parts for your ship basically, and unlock all the Stroud parts. Really, really good. So this is Neon, it's basically cyberpunk city. I absolutely love the atmosphere here. So once you do the string of quests here, you'll have to find someone in a nightclub with a briefcase. Don't do what I did and start a bar fight. Come on, you wanna go? You wanna tussle? Yeah, seriously, don't don't start a bar fight, just find the guy with a briefcase. Anyways, once you've done that and once you complete the quest, you take Walter back to Constellation and this is the Stroud Eklund shop, which you get access to. Now to find it, because it's not obvious at all, once you come out of the elevator, it's just there. But as you can see, you can't really see it. All the other shops have massive neon lights out the front. This one's like stuck in for some reason. But yeah, right there. And that's where you get more parts. Number two, traits. So traits will give you access to more parts for your ship, as well as other things like increasing your weapon damage, all that good stuff. The two main ones that you want to focus on are starship design and piloting. Starship design is really easy to complete by the way. All you do is you upgrade your ship and you buy the cheapest weapon that you can. Full on, grade A, cheap little chain gun. Put it on your ship, change it for another cheap gun, then change it back to the chain gun. Do this over and over and over. I think you've got to do it 30 times in total and then you unlock this trait. Really easy, quite cheap. It'll only cost you a couple of thousand. Honestly, easy to do. You can rank up piloting by blowing up other ships, so as soon as you come across Crimson Fleet in space, just blow them up. I think you only have to do it about 15 times, kill 15 ships and then you unlock it. So these other traits will upgrade your ballistic weapons, your energy weapons, all that good stuff. But the main one is starship design and piloting. Number three, where to go. So this one, nice and easy, at any starport or any ship manufacturing shop. You've always got a kiosk that you can access to buy ships or view and modify your ships. And you'll find these technicians at any spaceport. They're all over space. So just have a yap with one of them. Number four, buying ships. So when at the kiosk, you can click buy ships and then scroll through, see what you like. One thing I've noticed, I don't know if it's a bug, but every time I've bought a ship that's got parts on that I don't have, I then get access to those parts. So don't quote me on that. It's not gospel. It's happened in my game. That's all I can say. I can't, you know, say it's gospel. But yeah, basically scroll through, find a ship you like, purchase away. Number five, access in the ship builder. Right, so you've bought your ship and now you want to modify it. So you can go through all the ships that you've purchased here. So these are some of the ones that I've actually built now, which are in my previous videos. Go check them out. This one ain't in the previous video. Anyways, you found a ship and now you want to upgrade it. So what you got to do down here is you hit ship builder. You can also hit upgrade ship, make home ship or inspect. So press B to access the ship builder. Number six, building your ship. So now that we're in the ship builder, all you need to do is hover over a part and start pressing delete. And this will get rid of everything that's on the ship so far if you want to customize it and then you can start from scratch. And then if you notice at the top right, the money that the ship was worth will then go into a wallet that you can spend. So it'll say at the top there, total 57,000. Any parts we add to this ship now will come out of that price. So effectively, when you start building now, it's essentially free up until a point. So as you can see, the money's going down now. So if I add a habitat, there you go, 54,000. So essentially, most of the ship build is free, but the expensive parts are weapons and obviously it depends on the class and the grade, etc. So if you press C, you can access this menu that will give you all your error messages and let you know everything that you need to do to make your ship viable. And if you scroll across the weapons, you can assign your weapons in this menu. Now we're on to number seven, ship limits. So annoyingly, when building a ship, there is a size limit, which is 40 foot long, 40 foot wide and 40 foot high. 
you can build within that. Obviously, you've got limited modules, which is around 150 items on the ship. But if you start building beyond the 40 foot, you'll get an error message and that'll be it. You won't be able to build past that because it just the ship won't work. You won't be able to save it. So until there's mods that get around this or DLC that allows us to have bigger ships, it just is what it is for the moment. Number eight, upgrading your ship. Like I said earlier, you can upgrade your ship. When you come into this menu, you can start upgrading everything. So if you've got like a really rubbish weapon and then you've, you know, managed to gain enough money, you can just go in and upgrade it straight to the weapon that you want. You don't have to faff around in Shipbuilder. Nice and easy. And like I did say earlier as well, go for the cheapest weapon option available and keep rebuying it and upgrading your ship to access a starship design trait and you can rank that up to level four really really easy number nine setting your home ship so have you ever gone to run to your ship and gone hang on a minute that ain't the ship i just built basically go back to a technician view your ship and then as you scroll to the ship you want press h and it will make it your home ship and then that will be the ship that's in the landing port you can also do this in kiosks as well so it's not just restricted to technicians there we go what a beauty and lastly different ports have different ships so any city you go to that has a ship manufacturer or a technician they'll have different ships and different parts for sale i don't know how often they get updated but what i can say is that i've gone back the next day after doing a couple of quests and there's been a whole new range of ships for sale they're pretty similar to like the ones you bought like using the same things just different designs but don't quote me on that because I don't know if that's across the board for all technicians. So you just go to them to access them. I haven't completed the game yet, but I'm pretty sure the further along you get with quests, you'll be able to access more parts. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and check out my previous videos. Loads of ship builds. I'll see you on the next one, guys. Peace.